This is not an ordinary garden. It was created to establish and nurture native plants, which in turn attract bees, butterflies, and other pollinators. One needs the other to flourish, and both are in steep decline across the U.S. Pesticides, development, and other environmental factors have destroyed their natural habitats. In small but very important ways, it is possible to make a positive impact on this negative trend. That is the inspiration behind this story. So in order for us to get back in balance, we need to start putting these Texas natives out here in our landscape and help boost our native animals and insects out here. Rose Carasalis and other graduates of Elm Fork Chapter's Texas Master Naturalist Program had been working as volunteers at LELA, Louisville Lake Environmental Learning Area, during their 12 weeks of training, and had developed an idea on how to tell a nature story in an inviting and collaborative way. The location is Lila, a 2,000 acre wildlife conservation area that serves as an outdoor learning center for school children, families, birders, stargazers, and other outdoor enthusiasts. Of 2,000 acres, 1,000 square feet in the entrance to Lila's various trails was chosen as the site. This was a big undertaking. They decided to cross-pollinate with other like-minded folks to strengthen their efforts. They enlisted Denton County's Master Gardeners, the Texas Native Plant Society, UNT, Boy Scouts, local community volunteers, and of course, Lila. Altogether, they created a community of collaboration to build a pollinator pocket prairie. The seeds were sourced, all genetically pure, from Denton and surrounding counties. Forty to fifty different plants were selected and cultivated based on their ability to enrich the native landscape and provide a refuge for pollinators. For a solid year of Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, thirty to forty volunteers contributed their time and energy. Little by little, brown and green gave way to lots of vibrant colors, delicate shapes, and the sights and sounds of busy pollinators. Finally, it was time for the ribbon cutting. Leela hosted a pollinator garden grand opening event. Rose gave a tour. Each blue bonnet has the potential to seed out almost 1,100 seeds. Chosen for the Denton County's Master Gardener's Annual Tour of Gardens, it has become a destination for the area's gardening enthusiasts. Photographers get a closer look. Kids enjoy the fresh air. Gardeners have been motivated to replace exotic plants with Texas natives. All have enjoyed the magic of this little pocket of prairie. Inspiration, supported by collaboration, created the change these master naturalists wanted to see 